Welcome. In this video, we're going to do a solo playthrough showing the basics of how to play D-Day Dice, published by WordForge Games. So down at the table, this is a dice rolling resource management war game in which we're playing as the Allied forces trying to cross the beach and take out a machine gun bunker. The game comes with a great rule book and a scenario booklet, so we'll just go through this real quick for our basic setup. Uh, first thing we're going to do is select our country that we're going to be playing as. So you can see we have the UK, USA, Canada, or France. And each of those is going to come with their own player board. It's going to go over item points for getting items. Uh, the turn sequence, great job getting all that out there. And our red, white, and blue bonuses when we're rolling dice. If we match our red, white, and blues, we're going to get a specialized bonus. And each army has something a little bit different on that. Uh, so we're going to play as the U.S. for this. So we'll get their resource board here. Then we're going to choose our battle map. Uh, the game comes with six maps that are dual-sided. I'm just going to go with the first one, since this is my first play, number one, Exercise Tiger, and set that out. Basically, that's setting our path from landing on the beach, working our way up the beach, and getting into the bunker. So we are going to take our die here, sending it on the first chevron. And this symbol here means we will start with four soldiers. So we'll go ahead and get that on our resource card here. Basically, each of the spots here is letting us know at the each combat phase, that's how many soldiers we're going to lose. That's our starting. Every round with this symbol, we're going to get an extra icon. Uh, these are going to allow us to get some additional specialists in play. See, we're going to lose more soldiers. Whenever we cross one of these lines, we need to pay some medals for movement. Uh, the symbols that are with the black background mean we can only be in that spot for one turn. This is a requirement. We need a corporal even to move into this space. Uh, we've got some landmines taking extra damage if we move through those. Uh, this sign here, in addition to the three losses, we're going to roll a d6 and lose that many more characters. That symbol is letting us know we're going to lose one of our specialists when we get into this zone. And our options over here is roll with one less die or go over here and we don't have to lock any two dice, but we're going to lose a specialist going in there. And of course, going across some more landmines, we're going to get some soldiers, but we're going to lose one of our specialists going in or in this spot, we cannot obtain items. And then, of course, we need to work our way into the bunker, spinning four medals and survive one round of combat. We're going to lose at least 20 soldiers plus a D6 roll. All right, so we've chosen our map, kind of going over some icons, preparing the card pool for a single player game. We're going to add all the regular items that don't have the three bullet symbols on them, plus one card of our choice, either a special from the battle maps list or any one regular card that has the uh, dual or three bullets. So our cards here, uh, these are because we're playing the U.S. team, and so we've got our characters there. For some of our specialists, we can have as many of those as we want. Reserve specialists, we can only have one of those in play. So beach master, platoon leader, point man, chaplain, and a hero. Got some ranking specialists. So captain, colonel, then we've got two lieutenants, but only one for solo play, so we can remove that one from the game for now. And then a runner and a combat photographer. Unique specialist, we can only have one of those in play. Grenadier, decoy, marksman, and an engineer. Then we get to our regular items. So we're going through looking for the three bullets. We're going to take all those cards and remove them. So we've still got a torpedo, binoculars, field radio, flamethrower, grenade, mine detector, walkie-talkie, and a whistle. And all these cards are going to be one-time use. We get them... Hold on to them until we need to use them. Then our special items. Our scenario booklet is going to let us know we can choose between amphetamines, a bazooka, a flak vest, and a lucky charm. And not really knowing which one to pick, I'm just going to go for the one that's the cheapest for me to get. So I'll go with the lucky charm that's going to give us some courage or some metal. Then we have a bunch of awards. We spend six medals for, we can get one of these at random. And then off to the side, we're going to have some vehicles that some of the wards will allow us to get, and different missions might give us the option to get a vehicle. 
And we want two red, two white, and two blue dice. And our other D6 is handy. And that is finishing up the bottom there. So now on to our turn sequence. We'll go into this. So the first thing we're gonna do is our roll phase. We're gonna roll all six dice. So we have to lock two dice, and then we have two more rolls that we can use to hopefully get what we want. Phase two for upkeep. If we roll a straight, we're gonna choose our awards. So down here for, dra for a straight, draw one award of your choice. Apply all skull effects. So if we roll a skull, we have to cancel one of our other dice. Collect our RWB, our red, white, and blue bonuses, which is listed on the side here. Then record all our resources from our cards. So if we wanna get more medals, more people, some items and stars and of course we have dual people there and then the dreaded skull and we'll turn our unit marker to its next face so we have a limited amount of time so basically here we can stay three times and the next time we flip this we have to move then in phase four we can rally a specialist by paying our stars find an item by spending our item points or draw a random award by spending six courage then moving forward or sideways on the map, we can never move backwards. Then we go into combat, lose a number of soldiers equal to the defense of your sector, plus machine gun fire if applicable. So that is a quick rundown of the game. So we'll just go ahead and get started. So phase one, rolling your dice, and we have to lock two. And since we're close to getting a red, white, and blue there, we're going to lock those two in. And I like getting the two soldiers, so we're going to lock three dice, and we have two more rolls left to go. Of course, this is on our first chevron there. That is not getting us where we wanted to be, but I do like the soldiers. So if we can get super lucky here, and we didn't. So basically with this one, we're gonna to have to knock out one of these. So we're gonna cancel that one. So we're gonna gain two stars. Going up to two, gain four soldiers up to eight. Just our unit marker. Move if we want to, we're gonna stay right where we're at. And then our combat, we're gonna lose two soldiers. So down to six. And rinse and repeat. All right, so getting our six dice. Well, usually that's bad, but not when you get all three of them. So we're gonna go ahead and save those. Then we'll go ahead and save these two soldiers. See if we can get, yep, there we go, perfect. So for our skull effects, Dead Man's Gift gains 17 item points and two stars. These skulls don't cancel any dice. So 17 points right there. And two stars up to four. And with those, we're gonna add four soldiers to our unit and four soldiers to another unit of our choice. And when you're playing solo, that's all to us. So we're gonna get eight there plus the three to start with. So 11 more soldiers taking us up to 17. Just our marker up to three. I think we're gonna go ahead and get a specialist. We're gonna take a corporal here. So spending two stars. So for him, we can reroll one die in our final tally. Cannot reroll a locked die, which would be our initial two we set aside. So we'll take that down to two. Then we're got, not going to move and then combat. So we're going to lose two soldiers down to 15. Then go on to our next turn and we really need an award to move anywhere. Rolling our dice. Definitely want to keep those two. And roll these. I'm liking all the people. Um, we'll re-roll those. 
That worked out perfect. And I'm just gonna stop there. So our RWB bonus gained five soldiers. So we're up to 20. Then we're gonna gain six more, up to 26. We're gonna gain a star, up to three stars, and two medals. Just our unit marker, so we have to move. We can rally a specialist. And let me see, we got three stars to spend. Ignoring landmines. Don't need that just yet. Um, we'll go ahead and take it. We're going to spend three to ignore landmines. Down to zero. Then we're forced to move, so our options here. We can go here, which is going to get us more medals, which I probably need to do because I'm not rolling them the best. Here gets us more stars. But that... If we go this way, we get a sharpshooter, may ignore one skull in your final tally, or over here we get a scout, or a scout, add a tool to your final tally. And I think I want to go this direction, just to help me get some medals. So we're going to gain the scout and put that into play. And for moving, we have to spend a medal, the courage, get through there. Then we're getting attacked, losing four soldiers down to 22. All right, so for our next round. Oh, see if we can get that going. Really need some people. Keep those and reroll both of them. And we'll just keep what we've got here. So we're not getting any bonuses. So we're going to get one medal from that and one from there. So courage goes up to three. Then for our tools, we've got three. And with three tools, that means we get six item points. So we're up to 23. And then we're going to get four soldiers up to 26. Just our unit marker. Let's see. Do we want to get anything? Let's see what we got here. So for 20, flamethrower, subtract 10 from the defense of your bunker. So we can take that down to 10 or we can spend 20 to reduce the defense of your bunker or sector, not a bunker to zero. So either way, they're doing the same thing. We'll go ahead and spend 20 for a torpedo. Taking us down to three. Then movement, we're gonna stay right where we're at. And then we're gonna lose four soldiers down to 22. And next turn. Gonna go for soldiers, locking two. See no reason not to take the red, white, and blue there. And for that, we're going to use our corporal to re-roll. And it's not gonna matter. So we're gonna cancel out that die. With that, we're getting 17 item points, so we're up to 20 again. And we gain two stars. And we're going to gain a soldier up to 23. And one item up to 21. Just our unit marker. And because of our location, we gained some courage up to four. Then we're going to lose four soldiers down to 19. We're not getting those progressed up as fast as we need to, I think. 
All right, next round. Uh, we need people. We'll see what else pops up here. Not people. Do we need courage? Keep the star, do the reroll because of the corporal. All right. Red, white, and blue over on that side. So that is going to trigger a battle cry. Gain two stars, or if you move this turn, ignore all requirements of the new sector. If advancing, don't spend courage to enter. Landmines still apply. Combat occurs normally once you have moved. I think we're just going to get the stars. So we're going to take two for that. So that's going up to six. Then we can get three for those up to nine. Then we're going to get a star. Oh, it's two stars. It's down to seven. That's up to four. And we gain a star up to five. We're going to gain three soldiers up to 22. And gain a tool there up to 22. And gain some courage up to eight. Just our unit marker, so we have to move. First, we can draw a specialist, find an item, or draw an award. We're going to spend 20, down to two. Pick ourselves up a flamethrower. Then movement, we're going to go up here. We need to have a corporal to do it, which we have. Combat, we're going to lose three soldiers, down to 19. And machine gun fire, hoping for something low. Six is not low, down to 13. So next turn, we need people in a bad way. All right, there's people. I'm gonna take all the people we can find. More people. And more people, and Corporal to re-roll. Didn't work. So we're gonna lose the item there. We're still gonna end up with two items, which is gonna get us three item points up to five. We're gonna get seven soldiers up to 20. Then, let's see, adjust our marker. We're not gonna move. So combat, we're losing three plus. Oh, we're done with that die, down to 11. All right, next turn. People, people, and more people. Um, we're not going to keep any of those. Let's see. All right, gaining stuff. Two tools gets a six, so we're up to 11 for items. Then we're going to get two, four, six, up to 17. Then two courage, up to 10. Just your marker. We are going to go get our lieutenant. So we're going to spend four stars there. Down to one. 
And what he does is, when rallied, roll six red, white, and blue dice and place on this card. Each phase one, you may swap one die from your final tally with one from this card. At the end of phase two, swap back your original die and discard the one you took from this card. So basically, we've got some options here. So we're just going to roll these dice and lock those in on this card so we can use those for future rolls. And we're not going to move, so combat. We're going to lose three plus a die roll. Good grief. Another nine. Don't think we're going to make it here. Down to eight. All right, next turn. We need people. Lots and lots of people. And our final roll. Not people. What we're going to do is trade this in for that one. And this is eventually going to go away. So we've got a red, white, and blue bonus there. So with that bonus, we're going to get four plus four soldiers plus the three. So that's going to be 11, 12, 13. So we're up to 21. Then some courage up to 11. And a wrench plus another wrench. So that's going to equal three. So we're up to 14. Actually, one, two, three. Which we got a six. So we got three more coming. So we're up to 17 on our items. Just a marker, we've got to move. See, so do we have any one star people? Nope. So we are going to spend 10 on a grenade. Down to seven. The grenade prevents the machine gun fire in your sector or bunker for one turn. Must be played before that die is rolled. So movement. If we move here, five dice. We move here. We don't have to lock anything, but we're going to lose one of our characters. Let me see what else we got for money here. Dance without spending courage. Walkie talkie for five. I think what we're going to do is move through here. We went through a landmine, but we have a minesweeper, so we get to ignore that. As soon as we go in this spot, we have to get rid of one of our characters. We're going to lose the scout. Now we needed to spend two. We're down to nine. All right, now we're going into combat. So what I'm going to do, reduce the defense of your sector, not a bunker to zero. So we'll take nothing from that. So pitching that card. And we're going to use a grenade to prevent the machine gun fire. So we're not losing any people this round. All right. So we get all six of our dice. And we don't have to lock any. But we're going to lock all the people we can. And roll again. Nice. Uh, do I roll that one? And try to get more people. Sure, why not? D. 
didn't get it. I do have one reroll, but I'm not going to risk it. All right, upkeep. That gets us eight soldiers plus the three, so eight, 11, 12, 13, up to 34. Then we're getting the one tool there up to eight. Just our marker. Then I'm going to spend five going down to three here. I'm going to get a walkie-talkie and go ahead and spin that to get two more people. So we're up to 36. Then moving, we're going to go ahead and move. Still got the Minesweeper, so we're not taking damage there. Then Combat, we're going to lose 10, plus a die roll. So we're losing 12, down to 24. And we cannot purchase any more items here. And we spent three medals to get in there, so down to six. All right, next turn. Well, we've got a lock too. Kind of wanted people. Doesn't look like that's in the stars for us. Well, we'll go ahead and lock these three. And keep rolling. Still no people. So roll again. And still no people. So we're going to swap this die out for that one. For our leadership there. Roll a bonus die plus add it to your final tally in your choice of color. May re-roll skulls. So we can make this any color we want. Yeah, people. So then we're going to get four stars up to five. Four people up to 28. And some courage up to seven. Just our marker. See if we want someone else. See, nothing there I really need. I think an engineer is nice. We'll spend four stars for that. Down to one star. So as an engineer, subtract five from the defense of your bunker. Then moving, we're moving on into the bunker. Combat, use a flamethrower. Subtract 10 from the defense of your bunker. Our engineer subtracts another five. So that's only five we're taking from that. So down to 23. Then we got machine gun fire. Another six, of course, why not? But down to 17 and we have survived combat in the bunker. So we've taken over the bunker. So that is the basics of how to play D-Day Dice. As always, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.